Peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion, another day that the Lord has made. Not just another day, but it's the first day of October 2024, a day we have never seen and we will not see again. And so we are called to rejoice and be glad in this day because the Lord has made this day. This is a call for time to reflect on last month's victories and even challenges. But it's also time to move on. Yesterday is gone. September, we will not see again this year. And it's a time for us to grow in the grace of God as we move on. It's a time to declare and this is the month of the Lord's triumph. Yes, we will overcome this month. We will not be defeated. We will not be denied. We will overcome, said the Lord of hosts. But we have to walk in victory. We have to walk in his word. We have to be in Christ Jesus. We have to do his will. And we need to be glad as we do it. And so as we go forward, let's go with Psalm 1. Psalm chapter 1. Let's go to the way of the righteous. That's how we want to start this month. We want to be driven in the way of the righteous and not the wicked. We want to honor God. We want him to be glorified. We want our families to worship and to bow down. We want our businesses to be successful. The place of employment, we want it to be successful. Our ministries, hence we must go the way of the righteous. And God is our helper. He's the one who leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditate day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yield his fruit in its season, and his leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like the chaff that the wind drive away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. The word of God to the people of God. So we need to commit. And this month, October 2024, we will go the way of the righteous. We will not walk in the counsel of the wicked. We will not stand in the way of sinners. Our speech, our living, our actions, the way we handle family, the way we handle our spouses, our children, will be that of the righteous. For the Lord delights in that. He seeks pleasure when we do his will. We will meditate on the Lord this month. We will take time to explore his word, to find the deep treasures of his word. We will take time in prayer. We have to make that commitment. Prayer changes things and people. Prayer still works. We will take time this month to do the will of God. And when we do that, we will be like a tree, planted by the rivers of water. Everything we do will prosper. Yes, we may be challenged. It may be difficult. But because we are planted, we are rooted, we are grounded in God. He will help us. And if we choose the way of the wicked, we will perish at the end of the day. Because the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And only the redeemed can be wicked. Yes, us, unrighteous, hearts that are not for God. We need to change that today. The only way we can do that, if we walk the way 
of the righteous. For the way of the righteous shall prosper. Father, we thank you today for your word, for your presence indeed, for your coming again for us. Thank you that we will walk the way of the righteous this month. We will do that which is right and righteous in your sight. We will consecrate. We will concentrate. We will give ourselves to you as we seek revival. Hallelujah. Restoration, healing, and deliverance. We will do your will today, this month in particular. And we will serve lost humanity, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. We commend to you today, parents everywhere, guardians. We commend teachers, law enforcers. We commend the peacekeepers today. We commend those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament and their families, leaders everywhere. We commend to you today that we will walk the way of the righteous, that we will do that which is right and righteous in your sight, that we be sanctified through your truth. Your word is true. And we will obey you today, today. Thank you for this new month. Thank you for the commitments we are making now. And that we will follow in it. We will walk in it with the best of our knowledge and ability. Thank you for your salvation, rich and free. We give you praise, almighty God, for you are great and you are greatly to be praised. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We seek peace today. We pursue peace. We pant after you. We come after you. Our hearts seek you, O God, until you come and rain righteousness upon us. We need you. We need to change, and only you can help us. And so we give you praise as we forsake unrighteousness and worldly lusts, that we live sober, righteous, and godly in this present world. It is possible. Thank you that grace will teach us today and we will be students of grace. Thank you for this song as we look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. We give you praise. This we ask in the name that is above every name. Forgive us our sins, O God. Cleanse us from unrighteousness. Touch the hurt. Touch to the bereaved, God, the sick, the shunning. Do what only you can do. We seek a blessing that comes from God only. And we give you praise. We honor you. This we ask in the name that is above every name. The name of Christ, the King of glory, who is strong and mighty. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you today and keep you as we walk the way of the righteous this month, this 10th month of the year, starting this first day of this month. God bless you is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.